hitting the cigarette girl from the back of a bottle. He's going to show you his moleskin, and we might even pick at it. That's not actually going to happen. Ooh, that sounds gross. Um, and we're going to make a drink that, believe it or not, doesn't have grapefruit, but might give you a little bit of a grapefruit sensation in your mouth hole. And you know what I found? If you're making a drink with the recipe on the back of a bottle, it's going to be good. Save 15% off at awesomedrinks.com. Coupon code CMC215. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Silver, and I have with me the Kurd, who is playing with the live stream perspective. I've got Ian, who's just here. Apparently, Kurd loves Ian. to eat head. Right. Don't know. I'm not going to deny it. Okay. I love me some head. We're going to make Brisket a Brisket head, chicken head. Pizza head. I'm gonna restart this since you guys blew a minute of my time while I was trying to hit the record button. Okay. We are gonna make a drink called the Cigarette Girl right off the back of the bottle of ro uh, four Royal Rose. Royal Rose. Four roses. Okay. Royal Rose. Rose. Raspberry. I had to catch him there. So many things with the roses. Uh, I think we really messed up Derek when we started like putting stuff in his ears. Yeah, dude, you did mess me up. It's not handling it very well. Well, I'm throwing it off. I zoomed in the camera. Uh, I'm sorry, Derek. I did some other stuff. I don't know what Jennifer's doing. We broke now. our Derek. What are you doing? They're complaining that this one is zoomed. Oh! Oh, I didn't do that. How did that do it, happen? Do it again. Zoom Why in. did everything just zoom in? Am I not using the right controller? I don't That's know. Right. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you guys, this is why it's Common Man Cocktails. Unedited, uncut, Life chaos. Stuff. Cigarette Lines Girl. of Fernet Cocaine. Ooh, there's some syrup on here. Oh, whoops. Um, I knew was. Two ounces of chip. Back to a Every so drink one. this week, apparently there's a theme. They've all been gin based. How much? Uh, one tablespoon, so the one on the left. And the best part, every gin-based cocktail that doesn't make gin like the center focus, so it's really wicked awesome. Two ounces of gin. Again, very heavy on the gin. Very heavy. Oh, no, we did an Irish drink, um, which was like two ounces. Yeah. Fresh mint, again. I had mint. Figured we'd bring in two recipes. There was one in the back of this bottle. I was like, dude, this is, um, um, what do they call it when things just line up? This was like... Kismet. Karma. Karma Kismet. I like Kismet. Kismet's a good one. Kismet's kid. a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Okay, it's not, it's not one good one. tablespoon or three teaspoons, depending on your unit of measure, of Royal Rose Simple Syrup and lemon juice. So there is sugar, lemon, offset each other, and you've got that raspberry flavor of boom! The Royal Rose. Then we're going to spritz it up at the end with a, with a little bit of soda water just to get it jumping. Some Jump. people could use bitters to get it jumping, but this is going to be springy. Is it being kind of like an Irish, in there? an Irish so. week? Or are we going to do um, ice, baby? Irish week? Well, so you just did uh, we did Jimmy. vanilla ice. Oh yeah, I did. And then you just said I or you said jump around. So that's House of Pain reference. Or, or, I said or jump uh, around. That, uh -huh. that, that might be uh, House Chris Cross. Chris Cross. Yeah. 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 And every, jump, every, jump. every girl I've met in Southie smokes a cigarette. So this is the cigarette girl. Yeah. Well, because you know how they always wear like red and they carry the cigarette around. Yeah. They're always like, I love Tom Brady. I'd I'd have babies with Gronkowski. Yeah. This, he wouldn't have babies with you, honey. Sorry to tell you. <laughs> this recipe was was actually How stolen do you know? from Royal Rose. How do you know Gronk's type? Maybe I'm not. Gronk's loves com. girls in Patriots jerseys. The last Dang. time I saw a cigarette girl was at an event that Kurt held, where they were handing out candy cigarettes. That's oh, pretty cool. That was a great event. Candy cigarettes are awesome. Yep. Yeah. There was also those women. You, you, yeah, he came by himself. You didn't come to that, did you? No, she doesn't like to go to your events. She thinks you're I a douche. I do. Or the <laughs> translation, we have kids and it was in the middle of a weekday. Uh, but! You could have just led with that, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I know, it's so much better. Like, I'm really starting to think that Jen doesn't like me. <laughs> Look, we'll do this. I don't, I just tolerate you. Oh. What do we call it? <laughs> what do we say? Mark. Mark! Alright, now you can drink it. Yep. Um, so we, I'm going to buy something nice for Jen and make her like me again. <laughs> but, there were really also nice. those, what do they call those women <laughs> that dress up and stuff? They don't dress up, they wear no clothes. Was they wear something? Burlesque. 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 Go -go those, dancers. Yeah, we event? did have burlesque people. Was at that the event. same event? Yeah, same event. Right. I thought the burlesque dancers were cool. Of course. There's nothing wrong. This oh. tastes like grapefruit, big time. Well, I'm not even asking drink grapefruit. Thanks a lot, asshole. It smelled like grapefruit. That's why I paused to. Damn it! I got another <laughs> asshole comment. What the fuck? I paused. What to you did I pee in your Oreos? Like, so the water definitely livens it up a bit. Yeah. But I'm I was I was also thrown off um, a little bit because when I smelled it, I'm like I was looking on the table like we didn't add grapefruit. Why do I get grapefruit out here? I wonder if the the sweetness is coming from the raspberry. Maybe it's the raspberry. There's a little and the bit lemon of raspberry juice. flavor. Yep. 
Uh, Mint raspberry. Some, something that was interesting in the liquid intelligence book, just to bring that around. Mm -hmm. Bring it. Uh, looking at how he was uh, analyzing acids and how he broke down the lemon and the lime acids. Yeah. And how you can substitute or bolster your lemon and lime juice with like if you had to acid? with actual actual acid combinations. And it gives you the really same, interesting. same flavor. So I'm wondering if there's something going on here where I mean, raspberries are sweet, but they also have some. Maybe there's some. Them. Well, there could be some type of um, acid, and you can actually see the ingredients yeah. on that. There might be some uh, preservative there's, acid. In no, it. there's probably there's acid in here. I bet you one oh, of them's got lime. Yeah. Okay. Um, nope. Organic sugar, water, and raspberries. Yeah, maybe not. Well, I'm, I'm just Great. guessing like maybe there's a natural acid in raspberries, and the acid with the lemon juice and the combination is creating a proportion, that fruit, whatever the acid similar. Is. Hold on. A grapefruit similar acid. There could be something in that, but I, I don't know. No, this just says carbonated water. I mean, if anything, there's going to be citric acid for preservatives. But oh, it smells so nice. Um, that I mean, yes. the, the thing with the the Royal Rose products is that it's just what it says it is. It's yeah. like yeah, it's sugar, simple. raspberry, and water. It's raspberry simple syrup. It's, it's cute. I like it. There's no grow. preservatives. There's no no, there's no crap. You got to put it in your refrigerator. It's organic. So yeah. my refrigerator is full of Royal <laughs> I've got Royal Rose stuff all over the place. I've got like you do. <laughs> um, I've, I got so many syrups. You need to have. If you buy from Austin Drinks, that was a product placement. Um, you, you might need a little beer fridge just for the, the all syrup. the craft cocktail syrups and all the crazy stuff because so, they're all organic and natural like all the bg reynolds and stuff all that's in there just to let people behind the scenes a little bit uh -oh. you, you want have, me to take a photo of my refrigerator no no no, no. <laughs> he, he has multiple fridges he has his yeah. main fridge it then is. he has his wine fridge where he keeps his vermouths and other wines and yeah. all that stuff and then he has his back fridge where all right. the syrups are <laughs> syrups yeah. it used yeah. to be a yeah. beer fridge yeah. some beer there's some yeah. miscellaneous stuff there was more beer was but that, what happens is doug comes was that fridge and he drinks it yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. that was a college yeah. fridge yeah so that it's it what happens is i used to stock it from either my father or dog one of the two they'll they yeah, come they over the first thing they do is they want beer and then it's gone and i have to buy more i buy cases of beer just for other people i don't drink them well you, you want something to lead into that little mini fridge thing. I'm gonna lead yeah. into that mini fridge right now. Go. Um, and then we'll follow with a question of the day. Oh you you got yeah. one? Yep, yeah, we're good. Oh okay. Um so I don't know if everybody knows this, but I am not at Wake and Not anymore. Nope. And I'm not at the while. Revere Hotel anymore. Which means I can't sell any more of these cool bar masks. Yeah. Uh, I work for Anheuser Busch now. And um it, one of the first things that they did I'm is they Boisa? gave me they gave me this gigantic catalog that has like all of our uh, products, like you know, like T-shirts that say Budweiser, mm -hmm. or, like keychains that say Budweiser. But there was a mini fridge in there that, like, I was like, I have to have this. Is that a tablet? It was a black leather side, like leather sided fridge, mini fridge. The front of it was the face of a Marshall amp. They cut oh, a Marshall oh, amp oh, in half yeah. and slid a mini fridge into it. That's, <laughs> that's cool. It's not actually that's really that hard. Cool. Marshall yeah. amps. If you gut it out, yeah, you have plenty of room. Because hmm. I've hidden in, like, the Marshall, like, the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> I have a small dude. Yeah. I, mean, I think people believe that. He's like, because it's between me and Kurt. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, it's like a Marshall Derek's stack. Like, I want to go on tour with the boss. You just got to dive. The problem is you got to watch out for cobwebs in the in the tubes. Yeah. Tube yeah. Okay. Question of the day. Question, Question of, the day. of the day. What's your favorite food to cook on the grill? Grill and cooking food already? I can't even get, I already lost some of the stuff. <laughs> we don't even room. know where the grill is anymore. Favorite candy that's been banned? Like the Favorite band candy? Wanted, like the cigarettes, some candy cigarettes. They're not banned. They're not banned. You got them. Oh, I can still buy them. But yeah, but like people that. want to like ban them. Oh, bacon. Oh, right. Bacon is good on everything, um, including the grill. The the, the peanut and butter. It's less mess. Those those uh, peanut crisp. The uh, Tractor's peanut crispers. Do you remember those from the nineties? No. It was like what? peanut brittle or? They were like peanut butter on the inside, and they were like crunchy on the outside. Isn't that called them? Really? Yeah, they were called Reese's peanut PF, butter cup? PF crispers or PF crunch or something. That sounds yeah. familiar. They were awesome. Man. Banned? Yeah. Because peanut allergies? It could have been because of something else, but they never, like, it just got discontinued. Hold on. Stop, stop you know what else? Bottle uh, caps. Oh, I, um, bottle caps are great. You can still get some point, yeah. Now that I'm coming more on Saturdays, I found the original recipe for um, Ecto, uh, Ecto Icy Cooler. Ecto Cooler. Oh, Ecto Cooler. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know how to make them now. Nice. Really? Yeah. It's all like freaking chemicals and stuff. Oh, it's awesome. I, <laughs> what the one thing that that's banned here, I don't know if it's banned everywhere, is the Kinder, uh, Kinder uh, Uber Austin oh, yeah. Kinder Eyer. The, the Kinder eggs that, Oh yeah, um, those are cool. what do we call, I don't those know if they're good. in English, surprise eggs, I guess it would be. Yeah, yeah. They have, you open up the they egg, little toy and they have a little toy in them. Yeah, yeah. they're choking hazard. I'm like, what, they don't give them to small kids, stupid. Give them to somebody who has a toy in there. They're like, oh, a toy, open it up. I, I banning <laughs> so, bothers me sometimes. So stupid. Um, so that's the, 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 ah! Do you give your kid 
kids small toys to play with too if they're infants? No! Smart up! Strange sound. Yeah. Be a good parent. <laughs> um, that's what I would do. Um, if someone's so, tabbed over right now, they just thought it went in a completely wrong yeah. direction. <laughs> This is like all three of us said they're like, oh. Uh, no, all two of them. Uh, <laughs> I don't do that. No. That's uh, below me. So, I'm a classy broad. <laughs> Uber you have to buy me dinner first. Uber Ashen, Kinder Eyer, and then what was the other question? What's favorite food on the grill? Bear food on the grill. Steak. Steak. Steak favorite bear, 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 bear grills on the grill? grill? Yeah. Steak. Hamburger is good though. Yeah. I, I, I love like their grills. Hamburgers. Everything on the grill is good. Yeah, everything on the grill is good. With grill food. Um, Jennifer, can, Jennifer takes like um, potatoes. Vegetables taste awful on the grill. Oh, yeah. no, green potatoes, peppers, onions, peppers, onions, potatoes, little spices, throw that in like and, uh, a tin foil and let it boil for like an hour or whatever it's called. Olive oil. Broil. Yeah. Olive oil. On the uh, grill, those are good. Steak. You just drop the olive oil in between the grill. In the oh, that makes it cool. That makes it cool. Flame. Like olive oil on the grill. Hibachi. No, on the no. Hibachi at home. That's kind of what happens when the tinfoil has a hole in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just melts up. You're yeah. like, oh, that's awesome. Um, I still, I'm, I'm a big fan of steak. Maybe a little salt rub on it or whatever. To, how is that already sticky? This is brand new. Um, that's what I would go Give with. it an hour and call it a day. Yep. Boom. Done. That's it. Question done. Drink done. Jennifer's going to go try this. This was that the rocks glass? Old that, oh, that's a, why, that's a wide old fashioned. Wide old fashioned. Why did I name it a wide old fashioned? Because it fits the, the big ass cubes. Oh, nice, nice. For like the, the whiskey. two inch tavolos. Yeah. 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 Orange squeezer. That is a chef and oil or, orange squeezer. That thing will squeeze your mom. Thing is it's huge. got yeah. It's got you power. You can get grapefruit in it. And, if, and think about it this way: if you're if you're squeezing some fruit and some stranger comes into your house, you can kill them with this. Thing. That is heavy duty. It really yeah. is. Yeah. That's a high impact It'll, injection molded <laughs> plastic right there. <laughs> bar mats. Oh yeah, yeah. The bar mats, by the way. Yeah. AwesomeDrinks.com/slash Matt. If you want to pick up a bar mat. And of course, get all your syrups and bitters. Yep. Yeah, that is definitely something you need to do if you want to make this recipe. It's right on the back. You'll also find on awesomeracer.com. You'll be able to click on the video. This will come up. Or you can click on the recipe and the recipe it, will come up. And what's, uh, I mean, not I, I say not to pimp the syrups more, but to pimp, pimp the syrups more. You have so many syrups. And I don't even have all of them yet. And there are so many uses for these things. I mean, I, yeah. I still love the, it's like the wild gathering. hibiscus. Uh, even the syrup from the wild hibiscus flowers. Yeah, yeah. And, on and ice the, creams. Uh, the hibiscus company has the drop. Uh, was it oh, the, hibiscus the, rose or something yeah, like and that? And the blur, the, the one blur, that changes yeah. from blue to purple, that sells really well. Yeah, check out the website. There's so much stuff on there. AwesomeDrinks.com. That is just cool. I don't have to pit my store. I mean, there's the clover. He does it for him. Yeah, I, well, that's why I'm here for. Yeah. The, the clover rose with that stuff was really good. There's so much. Oh, there's yeah, a few drink. That was a great drink. We made, that's gonna go in my moleskin. There were a couple <laughs> drinks we made with that uh, hibiscus rose stuff that were just. Great. The hibiscus rose. Anything I found in the moleskin. Moleskins? I find rose in anything seems to come out really Because well. Derek's going to have these on the website soon, too. <laughs> if I get, <laughs> It's very hard to get a wholesale program for a single little book. Anyway, you can just buy like four of them. You were wrapping yeah. this up. Yeah. I'm wrapping it up. And we're, we are now. We're good. We're done! We're teaching a drink! Um, historically, this is one that was based in New York. The other Chicago's is Chicago. So you're gonna, oh, here we go. you're gonna get. Is that, is that that like, camera's on this time, right, Jennifer? Is that saying something about Chicago? That